Have you heard of the Boston Heart Lab inflammation test called OxPL on the APOE particle? It's oxidized phospholipids on APOB, thought. We do have thoughts on Dave. We have heard of it. In fact, you've been very integrated in that. So give me a quick two minute. I know we got a lot to cover in 20 minutes, but give me your quick summary because it ties very much into the same mechanisms as happened. It does. Yeah. So I've been working with a group that's been in partnership with the gentleman, Dr. Sam Samikis at UCSD in California, who developed this assay. And this assay is likely going to be the most powerful cardiovascular assay in the future here. As we start to get more and more exposure to this assay, it's going to be more powerful than some of the other tests that we do for cardiovascular disease like lipids and triglycerides and that sort of thing. This one has much more impact because oxidized phospholipids lead to a significant secretion of cytokines and inflammation. So you really do need to know if you have oxidation on your lipids because that drives your macrophages, it drives your other immune cells to try to respond because it's essentially a danger signal. It's a damage signal that you're responding to. So Isn't it the same mechanism when your cells lock? And that is, say, I'm a 2 2 with my cells lice. That free heme now is running through my bloodstream. And it has an affinity to attach. So, if the haptoglobin normally with that barbell would go in and attach to that heme and clear it, carry it back to my liver and recycle it. But it looks like a crab. I think you've described it before that four or five armed creature called haptoglobin 2 2. There's no binding point for the heme. And so, that heme has an affinity for the HDL. And it does the same thing we're looking at in that OxPL. It's starts the oxidation process of an HDL. It actually would, I guess, convert it to a LDL-like particle. The same as looking at your APOB oxidation. There is no good oxidation in the bloodstream, I guess. So no, no. you need to have mechanisms to eliminate, right? Right. And if you don't have a good solid mechanism to eliminate, then you're going to get tissue damage, vascular damage. Right. You know, this gets into the blood wall or the blood vessel wall mm -hmm. and causes this this growing inflammation. At some point or another, that inflammation ruptures that that plaque ruptures and as soon as that plaque ruptures your body tries to stop that injury and we make a clot and that clot then travels to the heart or travels to the brain so i'm confident that oxpl is going to be the next major marker for cardiovascular disease boston heart does a venous pool which is full tube of blood i think there's a couple of other labs i know that are exploring micro testing you know using a finger stick or maybe even could you get saliva could you use saliva theoretically i know you're an expert on that but probably Oh, more of a challenge to use right. saliva, but you know, for some people who are not close to a draw center, not close to a patient service center, or who are just you know not happy about the prospect of getting you know a needle in the arm, it can be done with a small volume draw, either a dry blood spot card or one of these little micro capillary tubes that you can draw you know 200 microliters of blood, send that off, and you get a determination. I think this is going to be a powerful tool moving forward to help us better understand who's at highest risk for CBD. Right. continue to get great feedback regarding the webinars and here's why you know on the internet when you hear a webinar you expect for somebody to try to sell you something we're not doing that we're trying to tell you something people are coming in with their labs from quest inflammation panel OGTT insulin survey response and then they're finding out do I have inflammation do I have insulin resistance and where does that fit in terms of other folks we're getting ready to start one for CIMT as well. So again, people are really excited about finding out their own status. Looking forward to seeing you there. Thanks.